Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. I'm trying this recipe over again because the last time I made this, I bossed it up and it didn't work. I was using a recipe from a four ingredient or less cookbook. This is Kool-Aid pie and I actually looked up this recipe and I've seen it out there in many cookbooks and on many channels. This is just a basic recipe. Basically, it is very few ingredients, a graham cracker crust, evaporated milk, a container of whipped topping, and this is what I love about this. Any small package of unsweetened, I guess you would put powdered drink mix. You could use grape, cherry, lemon. We've tried the lemon and it was good. My husband likes cherry, so I thought I would try that. And so the first thing that you do is you put some of the powdered drink mix and it's a small one. Let me see how many ounces this is and I'll tell you, but you can tell by size. I'm using the Aldi brand of this and basically ooh, it smells wonderful. And it's uh, certified as no synthetic colors in it. That's what I love about Aldi's none, and none of their products have synthetic colors, which is wonderful. And so this is cherry and it smells, you know what it smells like? Do you remember those, um, oh gosh, those cough drops that were cherry that were so good? I cannot remember the name of them, but they were delicious and it smells like those. But it has a good source of vitamin C. Anyway, it's this little, it makes two quarts if you wanted to make it that way, but it is 0.23 ounces or 6.5 grams. So you take this, then you take a can, which is 14 ounces of sweetened condensed milk. Boy, this looks, I could just drink this by itself. And then you mix all of this up together until it is well combined. And so I'm going to do that. And I will be back with you in a minute after this is combined. Hey everybody, this is Money Mom back with you. This is what it looks like so far. I haven't put the whipped topping in it and it smells heavenly. Oh my goodness. By the way, the cough drop was Luden's Cherry Cough Drops. Do any of you remember those? Oh my gosh, I don't know if they still make them, but boy, they were good. So you take the whipped topping and you put it in there. Oh my goodness, this looks delicious. And I definitely could eat the entire pie. I do allow myself a, a bite. Just a bite, that's all I need, just to kind of taste it. And so basically, you mix all of this up until it's incorporated. Then after that, what I will do is put it in the pie shell. What I'm going to do after all of this is I am going to put this in the refrigerator for several hours and see how this firms up because according to what the instructions were, this should firm up really, really well. It does take a little bit of time in the refrigerator, so I will definitely do that but this is what the mix looks like now. It's not as red as I thought it would be, to be honest with you. Maybe it's because there's no synthetic colors. But I'm going to keep stirring this. I'm going to put it in this pie shell. And then after that, I'm going to leave it in the refrigerator several hours because this is going to need to firm up. And then I'll let you know if this firmed up better than the last Kool-Aid pie that I made that did not turn out. It turned out flavor-wise good, but it was soupy and it was hard to cut. You need pie to be firm when you cut it. So if any of you ever make Kool-Aid pie, just as something refreshing, I'd love to hear from you and let me know if it's something that you would eat in your home and um, if that's something refreshing. But this is what it looks like. It would be good if we put some cherries on top of this. That would be delicious. So I'm gonna, like I said, scoop this up in here I will be back with you later on to show you the final results, cut into it to see if this firms up. Thank you. Hello everyone, back with you. I left the Kool-Aid pie in the refrigerator about four hours and came back. The good thing is, is it thickened up and it's nice, good consistency. This is what it looks like. A lot better than my last one. Now this is cherry flavor. I did make another version of this lemon flavor and it turned out good, but I'm going to go ahead and just take one small bite. And this is all I'm going to have. I'll be honest with you, with how big my mouth is, I have to be straightforward with you. I could probably fit this whole piece of pie in my mouth. <laughs> Not a surprise, right? Anyway, also I fit my foot in my mouth too. But that being said, let me try a little bite. 
I think it's quite tasty. Um, I like the lemon better. This is good. It's cherry flavor. I think it's refreshing. It would be delicious in small moderation occasionally. A nice treat every once in a while. But like I said, you guys know I'm still in the process of losing weight. I'm hoping by September 1st I'll be down a couple more pounds. I'll give you a hint. I've at least lost one pound this month. My hope is that I'll be down a few more pounds and be at the 80 pound weight loss by September 1st. And by October 1st I hope to be in the 170s. That's my goal. So that being said, I do have occasionally have a little bite of this, but I just have very small amounts. So I think it's good. It's quick and easy, and you can do any flavor you want. I highly recommend lemon because lemon is one of my favorite flavors. So let me know if this is something that you would make occasionally as a treat. That's all for now. Let me know what you're eating today, and let me know some of your refreshing desserts that you love. I love you, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.